So I've been working on this other character and I've got some of the uh, blend, blend shapes done for him. Um, and now what I'm going to do is start on the rig for the face. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm setting up the bone that will control the brows. And for this particular one to work as I want it to work, I'm going to need it to be at 45 degrees. So what I'm doing is I'm uh, snapping the top and the bottom to the grid and then um, uh, scaling it down. So the reason why I did this, and uh, the uh, Man Candy DVD goes into this really, really well, is that I've, in tilting at 45 degrees, what I've done is I've tilted the X and the Y axis so that I can use the X and the Y axis um, in different ways. I'll, I'll get to that. But what I'm doing here is I'm creating a new little gizmo that's going to um, replace the bone or at least stand in for the bone um, just so it's uh, a nicer looking object than just grabbing and moving a, b uh, a bone around. So within the bone properties in the pose mode you have a little field there that uh, you can put the name of the object in and it will um, not, be a pro not be so much a proxy but um, a replacement, I guess, for for the bone. Um, what I've discovered here is that mine is 45 degrees off, so I had to cant it 45 degrees. And there you are. There's my brow controller. So now what I'm going to do is I've got my IPO editor open. I'm going to select the, um, the, the mesh. And in the IPO editor, I select a. I will select a. Um, um, a, sh a shape key, and I think I'm going to do one of the. I don't know. A brow. Scowl, I guess, is what I'll do here. And you click Add Driver, type in the name of the rig, um, change from object pose and then what you do is in the IPO editor you press the I key to get to create a default one-to-one -one mapping and then what I do is just hit E and choose linear and T and choose constant or the other way around um, and that allows you to um, use the bone location to drive the uh, uh, shape key. Now I'm going to do it on the on the mouth here. And this one I don't need to cant 45 degrees because I'm going to use the X and the Y um, as they are as they are here. I've already made a little. Um, gizmo to drive or to replace the bone um, for for these shapes um, and what I'm doing here is I'm doing the uh, smile the frown and the mouth widen and what I'm doing here is I'm trying to figure out why it doesn't work and why it doesn't work is because I've got the wrong name for the bone in the little uh, driver panel there in the IPO editor um, getting the right names in each of the fields is <laughs> as you might expect is pretty important so there's that one controller that'll control his mouth how wide it is smile frown etc. So now what I'm going to do is just uh, copy that that bone and move it over and do it for the other side as well. 
I've got a little gizmo for both the left and the right side of the mouth. Um, so I'm going to use that one for the right side. And basically I'm going to go through and do the same things over here. I'm using the um, X positive, excuse me, positive Y for the s smile, negative Y for the frown, and negative X for the mouth widen on the right side, and positive X for the mouth widen on the left side. Notice I got it wrong there and have to make it negative x. So in there you can begin to see how it how it's gonna work together. Now I'm gonna do the uh, snarl blend shape here. Oh, and also be sure and parent all these bones to the head bone because they're gonna wanna travel with the head bone as his head moves around. So that's what I'm doing. That's what I, I did there. So now I'm going to copy one of these bones and move it over to the upper lip area. And I've got another gizmo that's a little uh, uh, diamond shape that I'm going to use for just the, the mouth area. And the same thing for this one. I'm just going to use the positive Y. Um, and also be sure in the, um, uh, the transform panel there, when you hit N and bring up the transform panel, panel that the uh, things that you aren't going to be using are, are are locked off, like rotation or scale or, or Z-axis location. So that's it.